That's a fright stuff might hit. Live TV. HDMI 2 connected. HDR. Yeah, HDMI. I mean. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I need Live to TV. do something. Station HDMI 3 connected. Yeah. Okay. HDMI 1 not connected. HDMI yeah, it's a fright connected. stuff. Um. <sighs> that is the coordinates. Got this Adventures Guild Investigatorians. The Adventures Guild Investigator is eyeing the festive display with a healthy dose of suspicion. Yeah, well, what do you got? Oh, my stars, could it be from a night of screams to a day of revelry? Uh, maybe. Think 12 bring you to us for the fiends of the realm knock at our door once again, and we need a Dauntless soul to help us ensure they don't tear it off its hinges. Well, you know, hinges are uh, definitely a um, point. They're a point of contention, you know. There, there are many different types of hinges. Perhaps I should get on with the quest. Um... Reading it again. Yes. The host of this year's Parade of Horse is a woman with a pumpkin for a head. Um, uh, I started to consider whether this is some elaborate costume or... No, perhaps it's best not to know. Yeah, with the pub to get, yeah, that lady, yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. Her strange appearance makes my skin crawl. To say nothing of her underlings. Why? One might think the Continental Circus was to come again, hiding their monstrous intentions behind the guise of celebration. They can be grateful that none have yet fallen under their spell. But I fear it's only a matter of time. We must act quickly to unearth their schemes. I would begin a thorough investigation at once, but I'm afraid my surveillance duties here prevent me from moving freely. That, my friend, is why I need you. Approach this pumpkin-headed witch under the flag of friendship. Offer your services to a ghastly celebration. If you catch even a whiff of foul deeds, I want you to put a stop to them before any innocent come to harm. I knew I could count on you. Now then, you can find our quarry just across the way at Maquetto's Amphitheatre. Where she has doubtless attempted to draw any and all passerby into her ungodly procession. Humor her for now, but take care not to fall victim to her honeyed words. Yes, well, uh, honeyed words and all. Uh, 
Well, uh, uh, what else you got to say? The pumpkin-headed woman can be found at Makato's Amphitheater, where she is attempting to coax the common folk into her terrifying cadre. Put on a mask of friendliness and put an end to any... I think I'm looking for a pumpkin. Uh, yeah, well, I like pumpkin. Pie. <laughs> pumpkin pie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. Um, wow, I don't think she generally stands, like, right on the stage like this. Uh, what would a pumpkin sound like singing? Who knows? Um, uh, let's do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> It is you. I knew your arrival was inevitable. For any who once indulged in the revelry of All Saints Week cannot resist a chance to relive their experience. Uh. Oh, such eagerness. We have a need of willing hands to help with the festivities. Preferably with the body still attached. Uh. Of course, I understand you have been tasked with bringing to light any iniquity on my part. But you know from experience that I'm perfectly harmless, so you're free to conduct your title investigation, quote, oh, and sorry for quote. I want to offer promotion of your channel, viewers, followers, views, chatbots, etc. The price is lower th. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yes. If it pleases you... Together, I believe we can make this All Saints Week into one that will be remembered for moons to come. Moons, yes. Yeah. Before we begin, allow me to illuminate the history of this event and our intentions here. Yeah, so I think what the deal is, I believe... Um, I think I got a something um comment there that was something. Hey, hey, it is you. I knew your arrival was inevitable. For any who once indulged in the reverie of All Saints Way, cannot resist a chance to relive this experience. Oh, such eagerness. So we are ever in need of willing hands to help with the festivities, preferably with the body still attached. Well, yeah, of course, naturally. Uh, yeah. Together, I believe we make this All Saints Wake and one that will be remembered for moons to come. Yes. Yes, before we begin, allow me to illuminate the history of this event. Not okay, so I think I'm about to get the spiel. S P I E L. On this most unhallowed of nights, the saints revel in the palatial heavens. And as their judgments lies become leaden from drink, the impure are free to feast and frolic without fear of punishment. In ages past, the common folk would rule the coming of this night. 
and cower in their homes. That is, until the adventurers took it upon themselves to rid the streets of evil. Thus, turning the event into a celebration of your collective bravery. A joyous happening, to be sure. But what are the goblin, the ghost, and the gremlin? Unfortunately, there are many monstrous sorts who you have considered this a night to spread fear like a plague. So it struck me. What if all saints awake could be an occasion for celebration among mortal and monster alike? I believe there's room for light even in the darkest of hearts. You don't say. Which brings me to the question of your involvement. I would have you aid a minion of mine named Papa Gruff in facilitating an All Saints Week that will allow yours and mine to join hands in mutual merriment. Perhaps you know Papa Gruff. He was once a boy and since so depraved that his kin spoke of him only in hush whispers. But I have since shackled, or rather, politely reasoned with him to commit delivery. Possibly devilry. No more. Knowing of his formidable magical prowess, I have said him to work out of these guiding words. Right enough to tickle, but not scar. Fear need not be an unpleasant experience, and Papa Graf is doing his utmost to strike that delicate balance between felicity and fright. Not which months of death I understand. It's that pumpkin head. Pumpkin, ah. Uh. <sighs> not, not, not with much success, as I understand. Right, I would love to profit advice myself, but I believe one such as you would know better what appeals to the mortals of this city. Might you give our beleaguered Papa Graf a few words of advice? Ah. Uh, yeah. Ha. Huh. Take it through. You should be putting on a performance near the leatherwork skilled at present. Assuming he has yet to be chased from Britannia's borders. Please speak with him and give him my encouragement. Uh, yeah, I'll do my best, I guess. Uh, what are you saying there? Papa Groff decided the best place to dazzle the people of Catania would be the leatherwork skill. I understand he's having trouble keeping his audience engaged, which runs markedly counts to the stipulations of our uh, agreement. Needless to say, he requires your help. No. <sighs> I guess I'll do what I can, you know. I don't know what you said there. <laughs> That pumpkin is Harvey is up to no good. I can feel it in my gut. Trust your to the most and cover her evil plot. Uh, I don't know that she's all that terrible. Um, I get a gist every now and then. So, like, uh, yeah, we're drinking gist tonight. Um... I do like a good gist. Um, it's probably different than a 7-Up or a... I don't know. 
Is he quite well? Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Papa Gruff. Papa Gruff there. Uh, uh, let's see if I can get some camera angle on you. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. What you got to say? You, you're that meddlesome adventurer. Um, rather, I see tidings of my humble performance have reached even your ears. Good sir. Please honor me with your presence as my guest of honor. Without further ado, I shall summon a foul, fell beast before your very eyes. I only hope you've brought a change of sparklers. Monster, it'll take a war that a magician's can trip to scare me. Look here, my dear Thrillsickers. Here lies an ordinary pumpkin, or is it? Take care not to blink. Uh, any moments of distraction may well be your last. Those razor sharp fangs for flee if you dare. But this hellhound will chase you to the end of the earth to have its arms of flesh. And I would know, considering the scars of its wrath upon my backside, this fair city transformed into such a thing. Why? Dread would prey upon Gridania to the last stem. If I made it so. Veritable banquet of chaos. <laughs> oh ha, ha ha, ah oh, ha, sha, oh ha. Bloody right, you draw us in. All that talk of monsters. All the dash our expectations with an adorable pup. Amid some confused at first. Now I see you're a clown among clowns. Baseline. Not a single blood curdling scream. Smile it is. Uh, not a complete failure, I suppose. Ah, my. My pumpkin-headed master asked you to help me. Well, allow me to peel back the curtain. As they say. Considering our previous acquaintance, this hardly bears repeating. 
My true form. Stash of a void sent. even a grimace. Well, I suppose it would be convenient if you ran away screaming after every sideways glance in my direction. Now, for the matter of this furry abomination. Rise is enough to tickle, but not scars. Agreement that binds me to my master. I don't need to be told twice that summoning any of my kind would be in gross violation of that covenant. So, remembering the sept. I believe Winston counts of this vicious hellhound. I thought it would strike the perfect balance between horrifying and heartwarming. That is, until a child does an earlier show burst into tears at the pup's appearance. I've seen a man react with a hearty laugh to the exact same dog. Nary a trace of fear in his voice. The difference is vexing. Tell me. Is a puppy something to be feared or cuddled? Oh, you know, um... It depends, really, um, what frightens one. May make another smile, uh... chest. I mean to say your kind's definition of terror differs from person to person. I admit that it does explain the sheer contrast in reaction I've observed so far. It does place me between a rock and a hellish soul ridding place. My task was simply a matter of bringing people to fearful tears. The ground beneath you would already be soaked through. Oh, no, it's good named as one frightened to Tickle. Ah, uh, but you, you with your delicate sensibilities, can teach me to mix dread and delight into a charmingly chilling concoction. Let's forget it once. You pumpkin pup. What you gonna say, girl? Or girl? Earf? Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, Mr. Gruff, give me a second. Here behind this tree. Oh, there's a tree. Yes, yes. I do like the trees. First, we need to find people to scare, but not scar. Your kind seems to gravitate towards the pumpkins. We place you out the city, which creates the perfect opportunity for mild mischief. 
one of hard displays be just over this heel and another is near the lance's guild. Your job is to tell me what's transformed the pumpkins into once we find suitable test subjects. Let's see how well you go. Papa Gruff is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Papa Gruff behind by entering a different area or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have Papa Gruff accompany you again, return to speak with him at the original location. Yes, well, that sounds interesting. Uh. You may have heard terrifying stories of my past, but I regret to say the magics I real don't quite live up to my reputation. Only have a talent for minor transmogrification. Really, my master on the other hand, oh, shit. I wonder what her head shaped like. Errant. Anyway, um, well, what do you say if I part ways with it? Ah, Phil, see what could be more important than this task, but if you insist... Once you're ready, come and find me near the Leatherworkers Guild. I'll be thinking up entirely new ways to make your kind scream with joy. Oh, ha, 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 Shante. Um, there you are. Well, all Saints Week doesn't last forever, so let's cook up a few frights. Yes. Aha. I believe that uh, Mr. Gruff, Papa Gruff, has said the same thing. I wonder if, um. Ah, uh, you know. Man. What you got to say, Mr. Off-Duty Sergeant? No, Saints, wait, performance very well. But I face slobbering monsters almost daily. So it take something quite fantastic to make me flinch. Ha. Ooh. Hey. Oh, I could make him flint so hard his heart would burst in his chest. That's neither here nor there. What type of ghoul would be suitable? Oh, you know, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, what are we? What are we trying to? Oh, good. Goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Um, nothing. Goodness. Oh, they're not going to let you get away with nothing. Okay, well, let's try it. Well, since we were... Oh, I remember in Tavares, I was blah, blah. Um, yeah, give him a small and canny thing, I guess. This seasoned veteran of the Twin Adders has seen all the horrors of the Twills. Perhaps something more stimulating. Ugh, okay. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, something middle of the road, scary. This season, veteran. 
Alright, give him the ghastliest ghoul you can muster. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, if you say so, allow me to oblige. Alright. It's the flutey music. It got that. She gave me a glass of rice. Only hope I'd never face such a monstrosity on one of my patrols. Else, my fucking lad might be sore in me breeches. Yeah, I was doing that. Well played, well played. Alright, well. Oh, what you got to say there, Griffy? Um, speak with old Papa. Never terrifying, but blah, blah, blah. Master. <laughs> I think somebody's shouting for me. Night, nighty! Ah, oh, that's alright, I think. Almost real. Believe me, I see this terrifying visage in my nightmares for some time yet. I don't blame you. Good God, I can't tell you what that even begins to look like. Lord. Take a circuit around. Maybe there'll be like something that Gruff might say here. Uh, not there, Gruff. Still not gruffing it up. <laughs> Sounds like roughing it up, gruffing it up, man. Yeah. <sighs> One more circumference around. Circumnavigate, circumstantial. Circlumadon navigating on a lantern around. I don't think that's a word. It bloody well should be, I guess. Put your sword away there, Martin. Uh Alright, yes, yeah, so I don't guess there's Anything that Mr. Gruff there says that would be, uh... 
Cowering boy, what do you got to say there, cowering boy? These decorations are so scary. You're not here to trick me, are you? for the picking, hey, hey, oh, um, uh, <laughs> forget I said anything, so, what type of gold do you suggest, ah, ah, um, There's a world boss fate there. Um, let's see. Uh, something snoopy, spoopy. Cough, pardon me, spooky. Blah, 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 blue. Hey, hey, if you really think so. Gravity, 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 crew. <laughs> yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, well, here's this one. Um, eek, huh? I failed that one. The pop of the book was a little scary, though. Oh, yeah, I feel you. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I don't even, man, I think I'm beginning to understand. Fright doesn't kill your kind, it can actually be somewhat pleasant. Believe I'm ready to take the proverbial stab at it. Come, come, there should be more pumpkins around that Kalu Falls. Uh, yeah, baby, um, well, there's that thing. I might try to take this fade out. Do I have that thing? Well, at least I can help. Which one's closer? Probably this one. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, this is highly unorthodox. For, um, seasonal event. Great vid, but, bye, cracky. I might, uh, not be the most orthodox individual ever. So, like, uh, yeah, let's try to hit this thing up. Maybe I can get it. Oh. I think I already have enough for the frog suit. Might be already down. Did it up still? Oh, it is. Look at that. Oh, boy, that's gonna hurt. Um, uh, well, let's try this. Um, Uh, 
Now I'm gonna find a party finder. Uh, never can tell there. Um, probably best for the party finder. No world party finder. No data center. Um. Oh, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I can do healer. Um. Uh, maybe there's no hope. Um. I don't even know this fight. Uh, I guess I could do healer. Um, uh, let's try it. Ninety astrologian. Ah, uh, white maze, probably. So this is maybe I can uh, get in a party at the last second here. Whoa, buddy, buddy! Oh no! All right. Well, I think I. Uh, all right. It's gonna work. No, it's not. Uh.
not even enough. We didn't quite uh, make the time. Ah, well. Ah, well. <laughs> I believe. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yes. The, uh, the fright stuff. Where is that? Oh, that's Gridani. Uh, Black Shroud. Uh, here we go. New Gridani. Um, okay. Yes. Can I teleport straight to that? No. Okay. So, I'm going to have to teleport to this. Here we go. Ah, uh, ooh, that's a pretty color. It's, um... Uh, it's kind of... Not... Ugh. Sunlight color. That's what I'm going with. Um... Gold. Kind of gold. Um, light on right. <laughs> light on right. There we go. That's a color. Okay, where am I going? Um... Um, okay, so we got this, Chica. Um, Papa Gruff. Okay, so yeah, you got to have, got to have the old Gruffer at your side there. I reckon. Get oh gruffer. Oh you're new. Oh you're part of the quest, aren't you? Gets cuter every time I look at it. I wonder if any of the other pumpkins will transform. Uh Alright, so where am I going? I'm getting the old gruffer. Mm. <laughs> Where's the old pop gruff? Where'd he get to? Where'd he get to? Oh. Um. Yes. Well. Uh, do I have any of these? I've got 82 of them. Uh, might as well get one of those at least. Maybe two. I wonder if you can hold two of them in the same. No. Okay. Um. Out of there, Miss. I trust you, Bob Gruff. We get along like screams and bloodshed. Thank you. Yes. Um. You didn't have to see old Bob Gruff, did you? Ooh, she's a. Uh... I look at her. Well. Um, Papa Gruff. Oh, there he is over there. Ah, uh, Mr. 
Mr. Gruff. There is... <laughs> Cornelius. They are well. Our oh, Saints Boy doesn't last around us. Let's kick up a few frights. All right. What's the uncowed girl like? Don't tell me you're supposed to send a chair down my spine. You're. Don't tell me you're supposed to send a chair down my spine. Clowns are for babies. Ow. Ooh, that's a loaded statement there. For babies, are they? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I'll make this last. Wish she was back in her mother's womb. You there, little girl. Look well upon this pumpkin. some magic. My heart will stop pounding. Damn my word, the of the life when I tell them my soul are real. Honest to God's monster. Can't wait to tell them. Ha ha! Say twice for I saw the cloud again. Thank you for the thrills. Did she say thank you? I skirt her near out of her shoes and she thinks me. Can't say I've experienced that before. Dare say I even enjoyed it. Yes. Now is the time to capitalize upon this newfound tickling skill of mine. Let us visit the display near the Whistling Miller next. Oh, yes, yes, let's, let's do that. Um, hello, Mr. Gruff. What, what have you to say now? You may have heard terrifying, okay, stories of his past. My master, on the other hand, um... All right, so well. Ah, speak with the pumpkin gazing session near yeah, the whistling miller. Wow, Gruff is accompanying you. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, you look startled. You've got a bunch of pumpkins sitting there. What are the pumpkins doing there? Um, 
Well, you could do worse than be sitting next to a bunch of pumpkins, perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, what did we say anyway? Good day to you, young lady. Might you join me in celebrating the joyous occasion that saw Saints awake? Eek! Yeah. Celebrate? Last thing on my mind! Please go and bother somebody else with that ghoulish makeup! Oh my, aren't you in a fright? Not the good kind, either. What happened, lass? Baba Gruff is here to help. You... You really help? Well, I could certainly do less than a clown. Come from the great long glory. Although fled from it's probably more appropriate. Oh, so it feels like always. But I heard a frightful voice from behind me. Turned around to meet it. Came face to face with the foulest monster I've ever seen. Monster, you say? Huh. When I came my senses, I was here. My throat hoarse from screaming. No power in the realm can persuade me to return. Not while their horror wonders are checked. Mm. I got a stick. <laughs> a monster. But we haven't visited the Gorora yet. What could it have been, do you think? I would wager. We might have a real demon on our hands. May very well be right. Those illusions I summoned are no more capable of free movement than the pumpkins they sprang from. Yes. No doubt they are voids and running amok. Here I am, time myself, and I'm not trying to learn the subtleties of spookery, while some uncouth brute goes rampaging through the twelve sword with an area of thought towards our street. If we forgive such behavior, our efforts to find glee in terror will have been for naught. Not. Tremble in fear no longer, lass. We shall investigate the matter. Truly, the first people to believe my claims were the seized of mischief. Oh, new father's wrong, we said all clouds were villains. Thank you. Again. <laughs> Those words ring strangely in my ears. However, it is not an entirely unpleasant sensation.
I know this wasn't why you were sent to assist me, but there's no telling how many of my kind we may find. Single... Void. A clown can only achieve so much. So would you lend me your aid in case the situation gets undesirably bloody? Thank you. Let me express gratitude. It's one of your kind, no less. Well, uh, no matter. Let us depart to the great long glory and settle this. Alright, well, we got a startled one. Uh, rifle takes knock on me at the great long gallery. Fear will be some time yet until we're out the guards to return. Alright. So, like, what now? Wow, that is one massive pumpkin. That's a beautiful pumpkin. That is a good looking. I don't even. They had to use pumpkinry on these pumpkins. Alright, anyway. Um. Ding ding. Where was the thing? There it is. Destination. Oh, there's Papa Gruff. What you got to say there? I see nothing out of the ordinary here, but I know they're close. Okay, all right, yeah. I don't even know who you're talking about there, Gruff. Uh. It's a nice baseline. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Our roguish quarry is close. Doubt's lying in wait somewhere to catch the sun away as. Once they show themselves, staunch and dodge them with anything but a face of stony indifference. Stony indifference. Okay, I think that was my screen name at one point. Stony Indifference. If it's not, or if it wasn't, it should be. Stony Indifference might be the best screen name ever. Anyway, of course, I would imagine. Well, people might try to... You know all that. All right, here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, what have we got? I'm tapping you. And yeah. Oh, come on. Sad thoughts full of void scent. What pray tell are you doing here? Brother, the void? You know I'm here for the night of Delry. What? We were afraid to carouse, creep, and caper, guided by the great pumpkin headed art feet? Too long we have been denied our demonic rights. It is I who so real state our grandest of it. 
Yes. Yes, the great god took him way to the air of the great pot. Even now, my allies lie in wait throughout the city, rest assured in the night of devilry. Join us, brother. Join us as we rise again. No. What? Why? But I wanted to. My covenant prevents me from engaging in the wanton vileness you propose. Regardless, I have no desire to join you for some cheap jaunt through the city with only a few startled mortals to show for it. Such indelicate devilry would only result in our swift and total annihilation. Huh! Spoken like a true coward. Don't tell me you're frightened by some sharpened sticks and clumsy club. Oh. But I am frightened. She would be agitated to the full brunt of my master's fury. Perhaps you may yet. If you continue to insist upon this foolish course. Learned how to blend in with the people here. Strike terror in a way that does not tempt retaliation. Your plan to bring but a single night of debauchery. Learn how to go habit. However, and our collective reverie. Last forevermore. Straker, my minions and I would devour you and your bland bread loaf of a friend. Naughty children, I'll deserve to join in the festivities. Please be happy as decorations serve as a sample for any you would follow in their footsteps. My, my, my. My lady, how dread. I mean, pleasant it is to see you. Dare I ask why you grace us with your presence? Of course, the wind of a voice didn't disturb it. came here to investigate. When I heard your voices, I knew something was afoot. <laughs> I must say. Quite pleased to see the notes in my approach to our saints' way. Something must be done about the other beasts that have yet crept into the city. Let us give them the same treatment to continue enjoying this unhallowed season in our own time. Yep. Well. I don't know that I eat that as a pie. Somebody's got a frickin' uh... Yeah, nobody eat that pumpkin. Somebody stick a sign out. 
That wretch reminded me of myself long ago. For but it was fate, I might even now be adorning the streets of Gadania by its stride. Side. Side. Yes, side. Um, yeah, let's, uh, where that, where that pumpkin headed, uh, long here? There it is. Yeah. Okay. Probably best not to eat that one. Um, I've got to eat something. What is the, the level 15? I don't think I've got anything under level 60. Uh, eh, whatever. Um, ah, uh, yes, 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 indeed. All right, there we go. Well, let's see what this quest stands to bring. Uh, which one is this? The Fright Stuff. Yes, indeed. With your help, rounding up our reckless kids proved to be a simple matter. Let us make this all saints wake. An occasion to remember for those who dwelled in the light. And shadow alike. Besides the Eric Ghouls, perform the spell I demonstrated earlier. In so doing, we shall convince the residents of Gritania that the source of their supposed nightmares was not but a cluster of mundane pumpkins. So one possesses the transformative power you require. Simply swing it about in a grandiose matter and point it at your target. Once the charms have been cast, I shall collect the pumpkins. I understand they're quite delicious when baked in pie. <laughs> Well, you know, if the pumpkin-headed apparition happens to eat the pumpkin-headed pumpkin there, that's a pumpkin-headed maybe something else. I don't know that I shall complain. Fare thee well.